Hello, my name is Mark Ballard and I've been a gas registered engineer for over 20 years. If you have the Valiant EcoFit Pure and it's showing F22 on the display, you will no longer be able to get hot water or central heating. This is because the system is running low on water and the boiler has turned itself off to protect itself. This could be for several reasons, but the most common is it's just running low on water and needs to be topped up. If my video does help you and it saves you from a cold week or weekend or from a large call out fee, then please consider clicking the link and leaving a small donation. That would be much appreciated. Or visit my website for more videos or just like me on social media. And I hope my video helps you. This is the front of your EcoFit Pure Combination Boiler. And in the display, we can see it is flashing zero bar and twin F22. If we push any one of these four buttons, then the display will light up so we can see it a bit clearer. Like that, and there you go. Now you can see it says F22 and zero bar. We also have this pressure gauge on the side here, which indicates exactly how much pressure is in the system. Now to top your boiler up, we need to go underneath the boiler and there are lots of valves and pipes but the two valves we are interested in are these two here, this one and this one. What we need to do is to open both of these valves and then let some water into the central heating system and your boiler will start working again. So what I recommend you do is open this valve first because this one is a little tricky to get to. Okay. And this valve only turns in one direction, and that's clockwise. So I'm going to turn this valve now, like that. Turn it around. You can see it's quite tricky, as I said, because the other valves are in the way. There we go. And now that is now open and on. Then we need to go to this valve and open this one. But what we want to do, first of all, is go back to our display push one of the buttons to keep it lit up so we can see it clearly then go back to the valve put our hand on the valve keep our hand on the valve because we don't want to put too much water in the system because that will give us more problems then we gradually open this valve like this we'll hear some noise and the system will start topping up now we keep an eye on the gauge here and we'll watch as the pressure builds up you can see we're now at 0 0.2 bar, 0 0.3. The black line is beginning to rise up on the side of here. Just keep an eye on it. Keep your hand on the valve. I'm going to open it a little bit more. There we go. And I'm going to try and get to this black line roughly in the middle of the display. So I go a little bit further. And that's about it. Okay, I'm going to turn that off now. So I've kept my hand on the valve, and now I'm going to turn this valve off like that. Okay, that valve is now turned off. I'm going to go to this valve here, turn this one off also. Make sure both these valves are fully off, otherwise, you will you might end up topping up your system more, and then you'll have more too much pressure in it and we don't want too much pressure in our system. We have now finished topping up the boiler and by pushing one of the buttons we can now see that the black line is roughly in the middle of the bar gauge. The boiler will now also be running through a startup sequence where you will hear the boiler running on and off for about five minutes. You cannot get hot water or central heating until this startup sequence has finished. Once it is finished, you'll then be able to get hot water and central heating. Thank you for watching. If my video has saved you from a cold week, a chilly shower, or that nasty call out fee, then please do consider clicking the link and leaving a small donation. That would be much appreciated. Or just click like, subscribe, share me with your friends, or just leave me a comment. Thank you, and I'll see you next time.